What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to today's Daily Skyrim video. Today we will be discovering the legend of Cracked Tusk Keep and the secret that lies within its supposedly impenetrable vault. Cracked Tusk Keep is located in the southern west borders of Skyrim. Just here and I'm actually going to be starting this video from Falkreath which is over here on our map and I'll explain the reason for that in a moment. Ready to get going? No, Lydia, you are not coming with me today. Today, I go alone. Because we have a challenge, my friends, a challenge to do this as stealthily as possible. And it is something we cannot do if we bring Lydia with us. Hello, Barvis, how are you today? He will also not be coming with us, you silly pup. So, if we venture along this road and we... Oh, is that a dragon over there? I believe I just saw a dragon in the the distance there. I believe if we turn off this path path here into the uh, woodland area we should come across the keep just between these trees here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave my horse just at the side here and then we'll make our way over to Broken Tusk Keep. <gasps> it's a fox! We must kill this fox before proceeding onwards. Oh yes! The ultimate kill cam. The booty shot. <gasps> I have been betrayed by the kill cam. It looks like it was actually a lie done to deceive me. We can see one of the bandits over there though. He's looking out. He probably heard us fire an arrow at the fox just then. What can actually see me? Hmm. Oh look, there's a wolf there. Let's hunt this wolf instead. Be quiet, dragon. I am hunting more dangerous animals than yourself. There we go, get Rex on. Now I've got that out of the way, we can now finally attack this massive castle here. And this lovely young lady at the top here, she will be the first to die. Apparently something's detected me, but it's definitely not her, because she's going to be like, what? I've just got an arrow to the face. Oh my god! In the nipple. How rude. You are Jesus exactly fucking Christ! I'm not ready to start this quest. Leave me alone, Barbus. This came out of nowhere. I was minding my own business and then suddenly... I think it's the dragon that can see me. Yeah, it's over there. Hopefully it won't attack us during this uh, like, let's play thing. But um, the best place to attack from I find is this direction. Now we've discovered Cracked Tusk Keep. You can see some of the bandits moving around in there. So if we're careful here, we should actually be able to kill some bandits just over this rock. Take him out first. Oh! Oh, I actually killed him. That worked out pretty well. He was just trying to smith some iron daggers to get his smithing skill up. I put a stop to that pretty swiftly. Oh, there's meant to be another one just through this window. I can see him just there. Or is that a girl? Oh! Oh yes! Get absolutely shrekt, my friend. That was an ugly ass girl. Clearly a female orc. This is like an orc bandit camp by the looks of it. They've got a lot of orc architecture here. This um, sort of sort of setup there. That is orcish architecture if you've not seen it. Nothing here after all. <laughs> my friend just received received an arrow to the face. There's nothing here after all. Oh hello. She was about to shoot Barbus. How dare you? you are exactly what I was looking for. Jesus. I do not want to talk. Leave me alone, please. Right. Let's search her corpse and then I'll show you all the secret hidden treasure chests around this area. This person almost has the inventory of a... Oh, she was a hunter. An orc hunter. That makes me think that she wasn't even a bandit. Have I been killing non-bandits here? I'm pretty sure these people are bandits. Orc Hunter. Are these people not bandits? <laughs> Have I just slaughtered innocent people? Is that what I've done? There is a bear pelt here, so I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Okay, so if we run over to this side, we can loot this other guy we killed earlier. He's also got some gold. Oh, that guy's a bandit, you see. So these guys must all be bandits. There's some dwarven armor here, guys, and there's also a smithing skill book just there, so make sure you read that. That is one way into the keep, but we're not going to use that entrance. 
Instead, we're going to come around up this wooden scaffolding here, because we can actually find a secret chest hidden up here that we're going to grab. So if you hop on top of this section, and then work your way around and just jump. We can jump, there we go. There's actually a hidden boss chest in this fallen down tower with a master leveled lock. So it's going to be quite difficult to pick, but I am quite interested to see what's actually inside. There we go. What is inside though? Elven shield of suppression, increased frost resistance by 50% and 89 gold. Not bad. You can actually come in this way to get this chest as well. But after you've got the chest, just hop up here and we can actually make our way on top of the second tower because there is another hidden chest around here somewhere. It's not on this tower though. Maybe it's on the next one. Oh god, that dragon's still flying over there. <laughs> Maybe we'll go kill it at the end of the video. So yeah, if we hop on top of here, there we go. There's the last treasure chest I wanted to show you guys outside. So we should be able to unlock this one pretty easily. A lot easier than the last one anyway. 52 gold and leather boots, how crappy. So now we drop down here, there's a secret entrance that takes you straight to the bandit leader. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my dagger out, elven dagger of consuming. Do you know what, we'll keep that shield on, that's probably gonna help us out in this little situation we're gonna be in, in a second. Um, I'm also gonna put on my gauntlets of one hand of attacks to do 20% more damage. And then we're going to go inside. Oh shit, he's right there. He's not messing about, this guy. Look at him, he's standing there, he doesn't even know I'm here. I kind of want him to like come out so I can actually get behind him and get that sneak attack in. Maybe if I make some noise. Hello there. Hello. He doesn't notice that I'm jumping up and down. Okay, now he's moving, now he's moving. There we go, oh my god. Jesus, oh, I thought he was, wasn't going to die. It took three sneak attacks to actually kill him. My god, that was close. He's got an orcish battle axe of ice. He usually has a two-handed enchanted weapon. He also has the cracked tusk vault key, which is very important, so we're going to need that. 200 gold and full steel armor. He's even got his own elven dagger there. Let's see if we can take out everyone in this location without actually being detected. We've done a pretty good job so far. Elven Bow, Undead up to level 13, Flee. Two-handed attacks do 15% more damage. This is just a case full of enchanted items. Pretty damn good. There's also the Code of Malakath, which is basically a orc book about the god, the Daedric god they worship. A coin purse, a health potion. So, now we're going to head into the next room, and I think there are probably going to be a few more bandits for us to take care of. So we have one person sitting on the table. I do, yep, there's another person just down there. So hopefully we can assassinate these two people without them noticing us. Just seeing there's anything valuable around I can use. When three years down, the orcs can frown and bid the elf goodbye. But none could We can pickpocket out of the banter, but I feel like that would just make me fail. It was not for show. Get rid of it! And he hasn't even battered an eyelid, because he's too busy singing. Just mug this person of all her stuff, and we'll take those iron arrows when we kill that dragon in a moment. But I did spot a coin purse earlier, so take that. There's also a quest book just here, if you read that. I'll leave a link to the quest and how to do that down, the, down below in the description if you're interested. A dwarven sword, potion of magicka, none of which I need. <laughs> How about a knife in your back? Get Rex, son. So these are all the orcs that are now dead inside this location. Is there another coin purse here? No, just a potion of healing. So now we got the um, key to the vault earlier. We just need to go down to the actual vault itself in order to unlock it. Another potion of healing, a pretty soul gem and a common one, dwarven dagger, potion of destruction, but here's the actual entrance to the vault, so you've got to unlock this cage, which is usually an expert lock, and we can activate the vault doors itself, and we can go into cracked tusk vaults. 
So, more soul gems you can pick up, another potion of healing. But we don't even need a weapon for this. There should be a button to activate these gates here. So, activate this, and we can go inside. I think there's some more soul gems. Another potion of lock picking, which is pretty useful for me because I'm bloody terrible at lock picking. A coin purse, what else do we have? Let's open this next one here. It's kind of like a Dwemer Bolt. Uh, it's kind of like a Dwemer Vault because um, all the buttons and the architecture and the way the iron gates work is very sort of like mechanical. It's quite advanced, really. I'm not there's nothing else in Skyrim like this location. There's another chest just here, guys. So make sure you grab that before you go on. We just want to pull this lever here to undo those, this iron fence here, and then activate this lever to do the horizontal one. And do take care, because there's tons of trip wires, so you're just going to want to activate them as you go here. Because it's going to send off tons of poison arrows that would definitely kill you if you were to just run and pick it up straight away. You can go around the other side as well, but if you look, you might get hit by this trip wire that will activate that trap instead. There's also a hidden chest just here, so make sure you grab that as well, guys. But at the very end, you will find the shard of... Merun's Razor, a very unique rare weapon in Skyrim that is actually a Daedric artifact. So when you take it, make sure you step back, because otherwise you'll get pelted by arrows again. This place is just riddled with traps. But if you guys want to have a look at the quest to complete and get all the pieces of this very rare dagger that has the chance to one hit kill somebody, make sure you check out the link down below in the description. But now, my friends, we are going to be battling a dragon. If it's still there, I'm pretty sure it will be there. Usually they just hang around until you kill them. And I'm gonna get my bow out, because otherwise, um, I'm gonna have a bad time here. <laughs> I'm just gonna head out of this exit. And as you can see, that takes you out at this little basement section just here. So now, let's find where on earth this dragon has gone. I'm pretty sure it will still be in the distance over there somewhere. I can still hear it. Yep, there it is. And it's a green dragon as well, so it shouldn't be too hard to kill. But we'll find out sooner or later. I wonder if... Yep, my horse is still there. We had such a funny situation yesterday when... Um, the Yesterday's video, I stopped off at this location. I was chasing some animals around. And then I came back to the waterfall where I had originally left my horse. And suddenly it's just hanging on the side of a cliff. And I don't even know how it got there. It just looks so ridiculous. It's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I wonder. Maybe we can try and snipe it on a horse. Let's have a go, shall we? Right, it's going to start attacking me soon. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I can't even aim that high. Here we go. It's landing. That didn't even hit it. I wonder who is attacking anyway. The blood dragon. Might have to get off this horse. Who is it attacking? There must be some necromancers here. Is it a necromancer? Oh, Jesus, it is a necromancer. Oh, my God, there's a bloody dragon behind you. Why are you attacking me? Are you crazy? We definitely can get wrecked now, aren't we? Oh, my God! That... Oh, Jesus! Where the hell did that person go? They all flung across the entirety of Skyrim. And the other... Necromancer got killed as well. Oh my god. I'm not liking our uh, prospects right now. After I've just witnessed those two people die straight away. Okay, now it's breathing fire. Oh Jesus. My horse is on fire. Well, that hit it at least. I can't actually aim. It's really annoying you can't aim that high when you're riding a horse. I guess like, you know... Realistically though, no one's going to want to put up with Skyrim horse shooting mechanics to actually bother trying to hit a dragon while mounted on a horse. I am taking a lot less damage from its fire attacks though. As long as I avoid its mouth here, I think we should be good to go. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay, let's, let's get some bloody potions out. This is not going well. Aversion to fire. Oh no, that was a poison. I probably shouldn't have really... Then I just used a cure... What am I doing with my life? Okay, take resist fire. Lingering point. And then we'll heal ourselves back up now. And I'll keep on firing at this dragon. 
you know what? We're going to get off the horse now. And we're going to finish it off. Ah! My fucking face! Jesus! Oh my god! It's one angry dragon, man. Jesus. There we go. I'm back to full health. Fight me, bro. Come over here. I think the horse is going to go for it. Look at him running away. He can't do anything now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, he can still breathe far out. Can't even see where he is. There we go. Now he's dead. Get absolutely wrecked. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and then also hit the little bell icon next to it. This will make sure that you never miss one of my daily Skyrim video guides. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram to stay up to date with the next with the next time I start live streaming. But thanks again for watching me ESO, and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next daily Skyrim video. So have a fantastic day and goodbye.